super hip of theme music right here. Come on, my super fly shit. Hey y'all, what it is, what it do, it's your boy Jay Smooth. Welcome to another episode of Smooth Customs. And today's episode is a good one. It's a three for one. Who doesn't like a three-way, baby? <laughs> Anyways, on today's episode, we're working on the Lexus LS400. And I will be changing the brakes, the rotors, and I'll paint the calipers so they look nice and clean. So I took a poll on the community page on YouTube and you guys voted unanimously that I should paint these black. Part of me wants to paint them blue, maybe red, but you guys voted so black it is. You guys, I took your advice, I'm gonna paint them black. And I got, um, hold on. I got these silver stickers, vinyl stickers that say Lexus that I'm going to be putting on the calipers after I paint them and then I'll clear coat over them to seal it all in. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, in one of the heaviest packages that I've ever received in my life, these are the rotors. I want you to check them out. Let's get this opened up. So excited. Now, fellas, I did a, I know this is supposed to be falling on a budget, but I did overspend a little bit uh, with these uh, rotors. Oh, God, these things are heavy. Ta-da! These are all black slotted rotors for the Lexus. Pretty nice. And you already know I got these on good old eBay. Um, I decided to get them slotted just because I noticed uh, some of the F Sport brake calipers come slotted and not just slotted and cross drilled. And I know there's like all these different debates about what is good for the streets and what's good for the track when it comes to like slotted and cross drilled. But uh, I play it safe, you know, cause this is not a race car, it's a luxury VIP car. that likes to go fast sometimes. And I got the slotted ones. And why not get them in black, you know? All right, so. Get to work, yo. All right, so one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cap off the brake fluid reservoir, all right? Now what this is gonna do is, this is gonna relieve some of the pressure so when uh, you uh, wanna put the brake pads back in, there's no, um, well, there's not gonna be as much force when you're pushing that piston to make room for the brake pads. So, that's step one. Step two is let's get this car jacked up. Alright, now usually changing the brakes on a LS400 is actually pretty easy. Once you get the tire off, right, and you want to get the brakes changed, right, all you're going to do is, you're going to loosen this safety pin right here that comes out, right, let me show you what I'm talking about so you can get a better look, slide the camera in there. You see this little cotter pin right there? Holding these two uh, pins? Those? That needs to come out. That little wire needs to come out, right? Once that wire is out, once that wire is out, 
just tap it from behind and you pull this out right you pull that out it removes this and you can just slide out your brake pads that easy put the new ones in slide the pins back in and that's it brake job done on a Lexus LS 400 but because I have to change the rotors as well I'm gonna have to undo these bolts up here and down here and take this whole thing off which is also gonna make it easier for me to paint without getting overspray everywhere all right so I'm gonna go ahead and undo this and keep it moving That's all that it is. It actually just flew off. And then, check how easy the brake pads come off. Look. Should wiggle out. Here we go. Look at that. That's easy. See? Now you just drop the new one in there, and the brake job will be done. I actually use this same tool. Let's wiggle it out. And that's it. You would just drop the new ones back in and the brake job would be done. Not bad. You're talking about this would literally take you like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, like 20. 20 30 minute job easy you could do it yourself there's no need to take it to any kind of goddamn repair shop to do your brakes on LS 400 especially the front ones um, I haven't changed the back ones but should be pretty much as easy should be harder all right uh, all right now I gotta take this off of course I've been asking the the missus to get me an impact gun because if I had one, this would probably be easier. It'd be like, brr, brr, ow. are out and now the whole caliper comes out put it right there and then oh it should come out oh okay yeah makes sense well you still ah. not bad all right well these rollers are kind of burned up, a little scratched up, so we're upgrading them anyways. So now that I got this off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the painting part of the caliper, because just for the heck of it. Alright, so I'm going to be using a little acetone and a rag to get this uh, dust shield cleaned off and the brake calipers. You guys can use, um, you guys can use uh, brake degreaser spray power wash, whatever you guys want to do. I'm doing it this way. Uh, you could do it your own way if you like or do what I did. Um, why acetone, you may ask? It's because it actually dries up pretty quick. So I can get to the painting part right away. Get this milk crate. This might work. Ah, perfect. Look at that. Alright. Little crate works. I got this masked off with some rags just because I didn't feel like busting out the newspaper and tape and stuff. Uh, I taped the, the brake hose so I don't overspray that. And I stuffed the rag inside the calipers. 
so that I don't spray the pistons. Now, by popular demand, I'm gonna paint this black and I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spray this up real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Once this dries, I'm gonna drop the Lexus sticker right here, and then clear it with this crystal clear Rust-Oleum lacquer. Put the new calipers on and get on our way. All right, so I wanted to show you guys real quick that on the passenger side, the Lexus LS has this sensor, right? Now, I think this sensor cost like 20 to 40 bucks uh, I'm not 100% sure but I think it's probably like around between 20 and 40 bucks right so what this sensor does is when you wear out your brake pads it alerts the system that your brakes are low and you need to change them now why spend for 20 to 40 bucks extra on this sensor when you can just change your brakes before you get there get to that point you know what I'm saying alright so I'm gonna pull this out if you do happen to wait too long to change your brakes and you need to change the sensor that's attached to this back brake pad right here this one was the one that was right here this one was the one that was here so that is the sensor right there right so you could just if you need to replace it it'll unplug right there but I don't need to replace it because mine is intact just so you guys know this just slides right out just put a little bit of a little small flathead screwdriver and slide it out. See, and there it is. See, it's got these little slots. So you just, when you put your new brakes in, you slide that in. It had a little bit of uh, silicone in it. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to add, but it had it, or it slipped out and somebody added it. I'll probably do the same thing just in case. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, get it ready for paint. The other side should be dry soon. I just dropped this vinyl sticker that I got off of eBay in silver. And I think it looks pretty dope. Got it right on the money. So now I'm gonna drop some clear on it so this thing can get put back together. All right, so I believe this sucker is dry. At least dry enough. So I can go ahead and put the brand new blacked out slotted rotors so should be easy enough alright let's try to get this sucker on here and then we have our we got our screw holes here so these Let's get this caliper on there carefully without scratching it. Yes? Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey. Yeah. What you doing? Nothing. I just came out here. Oh. I'm going to get 
this on here. Uh, I just came home from school. Yeah? Yeah. How was school? Good. Good? <laughs> I think good. I think good. What do you think? What? I just did this, look. What did you do? Oh. I painted this and I put the Lexus on there. What the? Yeah. Like Easter back, Skit, and Easter's coming up soon. Oh. Here, can you do me a favor? Can you take Daddy's watch and uh and my ring too? Here. Thank you. I'm gonna go put it in the hallway. Thank you. Okay. This kid's crazy. My chicken. Squeak. Oh, she's back. Yes? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You want to know what's my favorite kind? What's your favorite kind? Blueberry. Blueberry? Because right. it tastes good. Also, I don't even just keep it from the squeaks, but it'll help it slide into the caliper. So, just use the screwdriver just to push it in a little bit. And now, what I'll do is, I'll use this rubber mallet. All right. I'll do the other side. mallet So the trick here is to push this down. There we go. There we go. And we didn't scratch anything. All right, now it's time for this pin here. 
All right, so I know that was kind of hard to see what I was up to, but all right. So this thing right here had to be put behind these pins, and then this had to go back here. There you go. See it? There. And there's. So that's it. This side is done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Let's see here. All right, so it's time for changing the brakes in the back as well as the rotors. It's very dusty in there. <laughs> okay, all right. So normally, if you're just changing the brakes on the Lexus, the rear brakes are a little different than the front. So for the rear brakes, the easiest way to do it is to undo this bolt and loosen this bottom bolt here. And this part right here, just swings down and you can replace the brake pads right there but because we're gonna be replacing the rotor too I'm gonna have to remove the whole rear caliper to get the rotor out so yeah let's get to it oh. all right so this first bolt that we're gonna be taking off is uh, 14 so I'm just gonna... oh there we go <laughs> bottom one all right so that bolt there is the one that's a 17 needs to be taken off and let's see here all right and that bolt down there those need to be taken off yeah <laughs> it needs to be taken off all right All right, y'all, well, there you have it. We have successfully swapped out the rotors, put in some brand new brakes, and painted the calipers on the Lexus LS400. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, peace.